It's Bob with Film Police 911. We got a bunch of officers over here in the apartment complex. I'm coming over to investigate. Cop after cop. Uh, looks like it. Huh? You think that's them? I don't know. We drove by and we seen all the cops. We're uh, cop watchers. We go out and film the police, make sure they don't violate people's civil rights. Oh. Uh, yeah, we, we can't the people up there are really loud. They're always fighting. They once were fighting in the middle of the island over here one week. Oh man. Yeah, they just like left the apartment and started yelling. So the they're. Kid, there's like a, um, there's two stoplights, you know, you press the buttons. Right. And the kid was just running back and forth and pressing the button. And I was like, oh, right. you're that. That board. <laughs> <laughs> that board. Yeah. There's one up there. Oh, that is good. That's the only time I've ever seen the cops here. All right. Huh. I was wondering where. I'm assuming the park over Yeah. Well, they don't, they usually don't park where they're going. Oh. Um, they'll park a little ways down and then walk there. Oh really? Well, other than that, it wouldn't quite fight. Hmm. So you guys aren't part of law enforcement? No. Oh. No, we're just the opposite. We. The <laughs> vigilante police. Yeah. yeah. We basically what it is is we videotape to keep to keep them accountable. You know how they keep you accountable? Don't they wear cameras? Then? No. Oh. Portland doesn't. No, Portland, the, the funny thing about Portland is um, they only got like 10 cameras in their whole department and they almost never use them. And the thing is, is under the police contract, the, the video that they shoot mm -hmm. is the officer's uh, property. Ooh. So they got to go through him to get permission to look at it. Mm -hmm. I just opened my door because I know my pizza is supposed to come and I realized that the police are all here <laughs> and I was like, I ordered pizza. <laughs> you ordered pizza, not the police. Exactly, and I, and I had to make sure that there was room for them to come in. I didn't want them to be like, oh, the police are here, I guess we should probably leave. Uh, yeah. Well, thanks, there they are. Yep. Yeah, she is. <sighs> huh? 
How are you doing today? Oh, pretty good. Yeah, he was up there. <laughs> yeah, he's probably running their IDs now. Inside? Or he's moving the car. Yeah, there's a sergeant and another officer. Oh, he's checking his computer, so he's looking at his next call. <laughs> So there he goes. She was 18. <laughs> hmm? No comment. <laughs> well, she looks a bit a little bit young to me. That's why I said it that way. <laughs> All right. You know who that is? The female sergeant? Yeah, Spalling. Hey, Sergeant Spalling, how you doing? Good, how you doing? All right. Oh, I thought that was Spa Sergeant Spalling over there. Uh, it's not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, you had to stand there to notice it. Huh? I said you had to stand there to notice it. You guys good? You guys good? All right. We're cop watchers. We go around and film the police to try to keep them honest and accountable. Really? That sucks. Yeah. Well, at least she didn't go to jail. I thought I was. Because yeah. my girlfriend's, there was three kids, you know, in the house, our kids and shit, and then her friend shows up trying to troll all my neighbors, then I'm beating her up and headbutting my girl and everything. My girl and the kids just packed up stuff and just went to leave for a couple hours to cool down. I had all three of them punching me. I'm not stupid to 
hit my girl and a five-year-old and an eight-year-old by my three-month-old right there, you know? No. But one of my neighbors took uh, the psycho fucking uh, ghetto bitch serious and her baby's dad's being investigated by the FBI right now for unlawful fire, uh, disarm of a firearm in city limits and she's got a restraining order and she's threatening to come kill her while all my kids are at the house today so my girl had to get off work so who are you to talk? Yeah. Like, my girl had to leave work because your house is unsafe. We were in an argument and you're going to come and tell my apartment like she, my girl just drove a car. If I had butted her in the face she wouldn't be driving no car. Right. I promise you I've been to the penitentiary. I beat up dudes in the penitentiary. Right. My girl's face would be caved in. So, yeah. cool. I got to chat with the police and hang out. So where did you do time at? Fucking like Two Rivers Medium, Two Rivers uh, Minimum, and Powder River. Oh, so you did it all up here? Yeah. Yeah, I did Pelican Bay, Lancaster, yeah, Corcoran. Time, time. I was at fucking like, <laughs> Rapo Lane, dude. Folsom. Like, Folsom, new and old. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. I've heard of them. <laughs> I've heard yeah. Of them. yeah I, did, I did two years, man, on Stanford drug addiction and shit. And fucking got out at 24 and I'm all, oh, just turned 28 now. I'm a plumbing apprentice now. That's my car right there next to you. My, my first apartment ever. Seem to have got it together, but. Uh, yeah. That's Some cool. People just don't like me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you you have a good night, all right? Sure. Appreciate you guys, man. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm numbered by a man, three on one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all take care, man. All right, you too.